I cannot believe I'm here right now. I am in Honolulu. The first airline I worked for, I used to fly here all of the time. And so I have so many good memories here. I am going to get into my swimsuit because Waikiki is calling me. I really wasn't anticipating this trip. So all of my beach clothes and summer clothes are on the island at home. So I just had this which will have to be my beach cover up. And the only sandals I had are these like fancy sandals. I am so tall right now because these shoes are like, oh, like three inches. But now I'm off to meet the crew. So I'm gonna grab my little fanny pack and off we go. ever been to Hawaii, you know that ABC store is where things are at. <laughs> These are the most impractical beach shoes in the universe. Thank you. <laughs> she is kind. Take one of us. Sarah. Sarah. This is a video. Oh, can you take a photo Say of us? Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay, so we're back at the hotel now after the perfect beach day, and I'm about to meet the crew for dinner or some of them. So I think we're going to some place called Dukes. So fun fact. Oh, where's the elevator? I have a friend on social media. We've been texting and messaging for a while. We've been talking about manifesting a trip to Hawaii where we can finally meet. So I'm hoping after dinner, I can finally meet this gorgeous soul. And I'm so excited to introduce you to her. I just realized I have full on beach hair, but that's okay. So we're going to Dukes, which apparently is the Honolulu hangout. like hangout. So I'm so I'm about this. Right here, ladies, okay, we're apparently lost. we're a little lost. Tanya, what is so good about Dukes? Everyone tells me to go to Dukes. I've never been there. We're gonna try it for the first okay, time. Okay, she's never been it's there. I thought party. I thought this was the place and you I knew it. Okay, anyway, we'll let you know. dinner and I'm gonna go meet up with my friend Tara. Okay. 
just got back from a wonderful little night out. We went to dinner. I met up with my friend Babe on a Mish, which I introduced to you already. I just love her. She is a breath of fresh air. She's actually about to start her own YouTube channel. So if you can go follow her, you should do that. So happy I could finally meet up with her. But I am about to go to bed. The conundrum is which bed do I go to? because we know as flight attendants that one bed is for eating and one is for sleeping. So now I just need to decide which one is for which. I just finished writing a gratitude list for today. It might be a little bit too loud out here, so I'm gonna go inside. But since the beginning of 2022, I have been keeping a gratitude list for the year. It was my goal to do it every single day. And I often post these lists on my story on Instagram if I'm active on social media that day. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I would love to have you there. It has been such an incredible practice for me. So this morning I had a lot of gratefulness in my heart because being back here in Honolulu after not being here almost four years is so special because I have so many wonderful memories of when I used to fly here with the other airline that I used to work for. I'm a big believer in manifestation and using the practice of gratitude to cultivate what you're trying to manifest. And it was so funny because the night before I came here, I was on call and one of the last things I thought before sleep was if I'm getting called, I'm gonna go to Hawaii. And then I had the name of a friend come into my head who's a flight attendant and I didn't really think anything of it. Just like, oh, it'd be nice to see her soon. And then literally at 5.30 in the morning, I get a call for Hawaii and the flight attendant friend I thought about, she was on the trip and I was just like, oh my God goodness. So it's just kind of fun that I'm here and I never ever have done this on purpose, but I actually bid for reserve. That means you're on call and as a commuter, that's not an ideal thing to do, but I thought I would try it. This is my second trip ever on reserve by choice. I just feel... <laughs> So lucky today, but I'm gonna go get ready, put on my workout clothes, and we'll see where this day takes me. I think pickup is like 9 p.m. because it's a night flight tonight, so I'll have to come back here maybe around 4 to get a little nap. I just realized that I didn't bring my hairbrush, so this just might be how things are. So I'm gonna put makeup on to distract from this. But you know, you cannot control every part of your life and hair was put on your head to remind you of this. They say mirrors don't lie and lucky for me, they don't laugh, especially today. <laughs> I never thought I would be the type of person to get up early to work out. It turns out I'm right. So the lineup for Island Vintage was so long. I think I waited 30 minutes, but it was worth it. And I had a gift card from a friend. Shout out to Chrissy who gave me this gift card years ago. 
and I was finally able to use it. I just sat on a very wet park bench. I don't want to know how I look from behind. Outdoor mall. So pretty. I just got back to the hotel. My hair is still chaotic, but we have truly, truly given up. But before I go to the beach, I wanna show you all of the goodies I got shopping. So at the ABC store, I got these macadamia nuts. They are so good. They're only four carbs and they taste like sour cream onion chips. If you've ever been to the ABC stores, in Hawaii, you know what this is. I don't know how healthy this is, but these are the Spam Sushi. Musubi Portuguese Sausage and Egg Sushi. Then I got a couple hand rolls for the plane, some water, and of course, I went to the Honolulu Cookie Store and got some cookies as presents for some of my family. They gave me a sample, so I'm gonna try this one later. And I went to one of my favorite clothing stores, which is Free People. I got this dress. I think the detail here is so pretty. So this will be my Hawaii dress. And I got this Aloha bag. This was actually a present from my new friend, Tara, Babe on a Mish on Instagram. And she gave me this Aloha splash proof bag and i think a flight attendant started this company i'm not entirely sure but it's like a travel container company and i went in the store today and it is full of so many cute bags and pouches so this is going to be my new beach bag pouch because you can put things in here and then if they get wet it's not a big deal so those were my treasures i got from hawaii and now it is time to go to the beach it was fun to just chill out with some of the crew members at the beach and then after that I went and got Taro burger and then I just made my way back here. It is four o'clock, so I'm going to shut the curtains and try to nap before pickup at 9 p.m. because I think it's gonna be a little bit of a long night. It's a six hour flight, I believe. When I used to do this route, it was so much faster because we were flying the 767, so I'm gonna try and get some shut eye. That was a fail. And by that, I mean the whole napping situation. I laid in bed for probably two hours before I got very frustrated and just gave up. It is 8.30 p.m. I got my green tea and soon I have to hop on the shuttle to the airport to fly through the night. Please press like and comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and you like these videos. Don't forget to follow me on the InstaGs because it's a party there. And thank you so much for being here and coming along. I appreciate you all so much and I will see you in the next video.